We are back again with these ridiculously warped Ponderosa pine boards. Look how warped these are, they're ridiculous. In the first videos, we took these boards, which were just as warped as they are now, if not worse, and did an experiment to see if we could straighten them out. This was right after someone told me that straightening boards is easy. All you have to do is leave them out in the rain, they'll soak up water, and they'll straighten right out. Here is some footage from the first video so you can see what they looked like. Look at these boards. I cut these pine boards earlier this year. And look at how they dried. They're just all twisted and warped. Look at this thing. I had an idea it might work, but I was surprised at how well it worked. After these boards were left out in the rain, they straightened out to just as straight as they were when they came off the mill. And here's some footage of that. But I was surprised because I wasn't expecting to come out just as straight as they were when they came off the mill. Almost as straight. This one still has a little bit of twist. Actually, that might not be twist. It might just be uneven. Oh yeah, it's sitting on a stick. Straight as can be. As I and a lot of people who watched that video suspected, as soon as they dry out again, they're just going to warp right back to where they were. Which, as you can see, that is just what we done. What we done? No, that's just what they done. That's just what they did. English man, English, do you speak it? If that's the case, what's the point? We're going to do another experiment to see if we can get these to dry straight, or at least straighter. But before we do that, we're going to have to get these wet again and straighten them out again. This time we can't leave them out in the rain because it's summer here and it just typically doesn't rain here in the summer. But rain is obviously not the only source of water, so we're going to try something else. Now we'll find out if soaking them in the water works as well as rain. I don't see why it wouldn't. It might even work better. I'll keep an eye on them and we'll find out how long it takes for them to soak up water and straighten out. We are back here about a week and a half later. They're looking pretty straight to me. I checked on them after about five days and they were looking pretty straight by then. But I'm just now getting a chance to do something with them. We will get these out of here and see if we can keep them straight. I was trying to think of a flat surface I could put them on to dry them where they wouldn't be in my way. But my resources are limited here up in the woods. I'm not using this old trailer and the deck of this is mostly flat so we'll use this. So we'll sticker this deck and put it to good use. Okay, I don't know about good use, but we'll put it to use. I'm not trying to straighten these so I can use them for anything. We're just doing a little experiment here. This one still has a little bit of twist to it. It should have been left in the creek a little bit longer, but I wanna get this going before I take off for the rest of the summer.
Now I'll take some of the straightest off cuts I have for the first layer to weigh it down. I was trying to figure out how to use some clamps to just clamp them down, but I don't have enough clamps that are big enough to do what I want to do. So we'll just use old fashioned weight. Now that I have what I think is a pretty even surface on the top, we'll pile it up high. There they are, sandwiched under all this weight. And I know there are many better ways to do this than what I'm doing here. But this is just what I have available to me right now, and I wanted to clean up this pile of offcuts anyway. Over the next few days, I'll probably do some more milling, get some more offcuts, and we'll load this thing up. On the previous two videos, some people said that, yes, the weight will make them dry straight, but as soon as you take the weight off, they'll bend back to crooked. Then there were others who said the weight will do the job. So we'll let these ones dry and then we'll find out what they really do. I'll be looking forward to when these boards dry so we can take the weight off and see what they look like. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel so you don't miss out on that when that video comes out. Until the next video, later.